Hey my beautiful Leos, so ready to do your daily gardens for the 7th of the Magic Moon, 7th of October and I'm going to do all, all your editing through October, I can't wait for Halloween I probably come on and do, do my dailies dressed as a vampire or something, you just never know um, So I'm available for one on ones and there is some deals on the website as well so if you want to visit the website it is in the description box below if you want to go straight to it it's divinely guided with love.com so i'm going to get you one from the daily daily gardens we're going to go straight in off the bat daily gardens for my leos play beloved one it's time to set aside work for a while don't worry we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion playfulness gaiety and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heart and energy so we are on the weekend you know, it's time to play. It's time to, like, kind of have a little bit of adventure. It's almost like you're in a child needs to play out today a little bit, Leo. <laughs> you know? So it's like going out for a walk, going out with friends, doing things, being sociable. Have some play time. You know? I like it. I like it a lot. So let's get you free from the empowerment deck. We have the queen. So the king, if you're a masculine, but these are my decks, so you'll get used to the drawings. Um, so the Queen, the Queen has everything she needs and it's kind of saying, you know, if you look at her though, she looks bored. <laughs> I never drew her with that intention. I meant to, uh, to look like the actual Queen, but the message of the card actually changed once I'd drawn her. So it's basically, she's got everything she wants, but where's the people, where's the social life, where's the fun, you know? So I feel like it's time to have some fun. And the Queen has so much... Like, on her shoulders, aren't she? If you think about, like, royalty, that type of thing. I'm not a royalist. Um, but if you think of yourself as the queen or the king, you've got to be in control of everything. You've got to be in control of your finances, your home life, you know. The, all the mundane type of things. So, what's coming out after that is we have Lilith. So, we all know how I feel about Lilith. I love Lilith. So, so she's the protector. But she's also... Lilith is fun. Lilith is about having boundaries and health... She's about having healthy boundaries, you, you know, so it's like not doing as you're told. A little bit of rebellion, that type of energy, that Lilith energy. But she's also carrying a serpent. She, You know, she's known for the serpent. And the serpent, when a serpent is growing, it gets constrained. It feels, con you know, so you may be feeling like, oh, I feel stuck in. It's almost like you just want to escape. And to me, Lilith is that escape. You can stand in your power and do what you want. And she gives you that energy to create boundaries with yourself as well between like personal and professional life and you know that type of thing so i feel like she's kind of coming in to give you a push because we've got the ruins so the ruins is the fact that certain things from the past it's been it's done it's gone sometimes we've got to get a bulldozer and knock that stuff to the side take it to the tip it can be draining. Maybe this is what you've been going through. Maybe you've just been going through life and a cycle, like just getting up, going to sleep, going to work, blah, blah. You know, and yeah, stuff's happened in the past. What they're saying is you've got a brand new fresh start here, but look, it's a seedling. So it's natural. And the sun is feeding this. So you can take some time out to rest. You can take some time out to play because this is naturally going to be a land and this is naturally going to grow. So let's get some clarification on this Leo. Yeah, see, straight on top of the ruins, past lack and suffering. So in the past, yeah, there was a sense of lack. There was a, a, a sense of suffering, um, you know, struggles. We, we are going through a cost of living crisis, you know. Everybody is struggling in certain ways, whether it be mental, mentally, financially, emotionally. There's so much going on in the world at the moment. And I feel like today's the day where you're supposed to just giggle. <laughs> giggle with me. We've got unexpected storm on top of Lily, but we've got seeds in spring. So something could have happened in the spring months that was unexpected. So where we're talking March, April, May. Uh, something could have happened then that was unexpected. But it was actually meant to happen because a seed was sown. And like I said, that seedling is growing into something more natural. So it was happening for you. And I feel like you've been, you may have been struggling since then. So, you know, the spring months. Um, on top of that, there was a separation. 
So we've got some kind of separation, but what you've done is you've unbound yourself from a toxic cycle. That's going back into the past. You may be still feeling the aftermath of that, but with the queen being here and play, you've got renewal. It's almost like you've got a new zest for life, Leo. It's like fireworks going off, you know, that type of thing. It's like maybe you always thought life was going to be like that, and right now you're sat here and it's like, oh, my God, it's actually not. And I am feeling playful, and I am allowed to giggle, and I am, I am allowed to go and have fun. So there's like a renewal going on in you. So you, it's well-deserved, well-deserved. So I'll see you tomorrow.